When God chooses Mary as the means, when God himself wants to come into this world in the manger of Bethlehem, this is not an idyllic family affair. It is instead the beginning of a complete reversal, a new ordering of all things in this earth. If we want to participate in this Advent in the Christmas event, we cannot simply sit like spectators in a theater and enjoy the friendly pictures. Rather, we must join in the action that is taking place and be drawn into this reversal of all things ourselves. Here, we too must act on the stage, for here, the spectator is always a person acting in the drama. We cannot remove ourselves from the action. With whom, then, are we acting? Pious shepherds who are on their knees, kings who bring their gifts, what is going on here where Mary becomes the mother of God, where God comes into the world in the loneliness of the manger? World judgment and world redemption. That is what is happening here. And it is the Christ child in the manger himself who holds world judgment and world redemption. He pushes back the high and mighty. He overturns the thrones of the powerful. He humbles the haughty. His arm exercises power over all the high and mighty. He lifts what is lowly and makes it great and glorious in his mercy. I, I love this. Bonhoeffer perfectly identifies what is going on here. In this joining in participating in the Advent season, what is happening here? And what he says is none other than the world judgment and world redemption are all held in the manger of Christ the King. And that somehow we can get off of our well-folded hands. Somehow we could get out of our seats and, and, and walk in the kingdom of God with him this Advent season. Somehow we could participate in the action of the manger this Christmas season. I think God wants you to participate in all of this. And uh, maybe, I, I don't know exactly how that works for you, but I know it definitely starts with redemption, which is Bonhoeffer's theme here. Maybe it's time to let go of that thing or two that you've been holding on to. Maybe it's time to forgive somebody, that one person you've been needing to forgive. Although those seem like small things, they're actually cosmic, world-altering events. May you participate in the Advent season this year.